we watched both trouble. Brandon Grosso and Bobby Gerhardt were involved. That's Grosso in the 52. Bobby Gerhardt was on the inside of him. He was in the five car. Grosso was one of those six teenagers, 18 years old, from New Jersey. And does Tommy Prater also have damage? He does. Tough break. Thomas Prater had such a good run going in Daytona, battling up in the top two or three positions. Get relegated back to a 14th place finish, but that was his best race by far. But you see, look how high the front end of the five of Bobby Gerhardt is. All the damage on Tommy Prater's number nine right there. That's a shame for Gerhardt because he looked like he was a legitimate contender. It's been a few years since he won a race, but he's won nine in his career, and he's been quick throughout the day today. Yeah, it looks like that damage came from maybe coming down off the bank onto the apron. Push the front end up. Let's see if we can see what happens here. There's a nine of Prater around. There's Grasso, the 52. There's Bobby Garrett. He's going to turn hard left to avoid Grasso. You see the damage right there. It pushes his front end up when he got down on the apron. So simply collected after two others got involved. So we're under our first caution. 12 of the 76 are complete. There's the damage for last year's championship team, Ken Schrader Racing, and Brandon Grosso. So, some work to be done on pit road and a restart coming up. Zane Smith, Chase Purdy, Michael Self, the top three at Talladega. Because they missed some practice time because of a wiring issue. So this is really proving they made the right call to get this car ready to go. Problems for Natalie Decker, and we're under caution for the second time. Let's see what happened to the 25 from Venturini. She's on the inside, makes some contact with the 77 of Joe Graff Jr. Ooh. Makes pretty significant contact with the outside safer barrier. Looks like they were fighting for space on the inside, Kevin. They're back running in the 13th, 14th, 15th position. It's a pretty hard right side hit for Natalie Decker, the N29 Capital Partners Yamaha Power for Sheldon Creed. The 15 is Michael Self. He drops down, gets down there smoothly. See, we are we crashing in the back, and it's Brett Holmes who was trying to get to pit lane, possibly goes around, and there's the caution. Yeah, the 0-2 of Andy Sice and the 23 of Brett Holmes both were trying to get the left pit rope, but Kevin, there's all sorts of room down there. You don't have to be right next to the racetrack. This didn't have to happen. So Brett Holmes needed the caution, but unfortunately, he is the caution. That's going to be a real break for Michael Self because he can just dump a little bit of fuel, go back up on the racetrack without losing a lap, then come in. He may be able to do his entire pit work and come back on the racetrack. Let's watch what happened first to Brett Holmes. Watch for the red car in the back. Oh, and somebody wiggled right in front of him. Well, that's a 0-2 of Andy Sice, right. who's coming to pit road. He's on the brakes. You saw Michael Self definitely went by the commitment line on pit road. He had the option, though, of just riding down pit road at pit road speed and rejoining the racetrack if he wanted to. Okay. Yeah, was Sice in that same situation, too. Needed to pit. But there's so much room down there. Kevin, there are 60 feet the way to the left. left of those cars. Do like Michael Self, he moved yeah. way over when he came off for turn four. So unfortunate. A lap and a half ago, though, no matter what he's doing, the water temperature continues to rise. So as he's tucked in and drafted his way to this position, that water gauge is now an issue and a concern for the driver in the 15. And around goes Leilani Moocher. Caution with six to go. Leilani was still even with that damage. That veganstrong.com Toyota was still up in this lead draft. But she already had a lot of damage, so I'm sure that car was a handful. And that likely will end it for Munter. I would not be surprised if there was some contact. There's been a whole bunch of pushing and shoving ever since our last restart. So we're going to be close now down to just a one-lap shootout, whether it's in regulation or overtime. With six to go, Max Tolman is the leader. And at the line, the next last time by, he led by one thousandth <laughs> of a second on Sheldon Creed. Blaine Perkins is third, Brandon Lynn fourth, Zane Smith fifth, then Sean Kaur and Michael Self. Let's watch again. There's Mutter from the bottom line going around and 
fortunately didn't take anyone else. Yeah, quite possibly got a little bit of a bump from behind. Right along with it right here. She's probably she's gonna have to back off and when she did she probably got bumped from behind. She ran up on the back bumper of Bola Mastis and had to back off a little bit. So another pretty solid raise for Leblanc. So this becomes a natural green white checkered finish. Into the restart zone. Two laps to go in Arca from Talladega. Tolman and Creed up front and Creed hits the line first. Big wide turn for Tolman who's going to lose a lot of spots and that's going to impact the top line. So Blaine Perkins is now in second. Look who's third and fourth Zane Smith. And the 15 of Michael Self. I wonder if that 78 car burped a little bit being low on fuel when he restarted from the outside. He's struggling back there on the third line. Tolman has fallen way back. So his only hope I think is another caution to reset it. It's Creed. It's Perkins. One two. Brandon Lynn also up there. But that's Zane Smith now in third. Michael Self in fourth as we hit the white flag. One to go. 2.66 miles from Talladega. Who's going to make the move first? Is anyone going to be able to make a move on Sheldon Creed? Self's got some momentum. And we have a car around. It's Doza into the wall. Caution. And we will go to overtime. No, we stay green. We stay green. I think we can stay green. That car was well out of the way over in turn two. It is, so we will race to the finish. Four in the mix right now. Creed trying to hold up perfect. Oh, trouble. And now they'll crash hard. The big one at Talladega is on the final lap. Will we stay green or go white? It's green for the moment. Creed, Perkins, and we do go to caution. The 28 crew waiting and hoping that he got to the line before the caution came out, but this was a big one in the safety personnel needs to be dispatched. Good to see that winning that down on Chase Purdy's car. Look at all the damage to that eight cars. You see him climb out. That's Bola Mastis, the 54, nosed into the side of the eight of Chase Purdy. Hard, hard hits there. And that is a destroyed race car that will bring out the red flag. So we had two incidents on the white flag lap as we see Dave Mater rolling down pit lane with some damage and as you accurately called it Phil that first one was not going to be a factor so that was going to allow them to finish but the second too heavy a damage you're going to have the cool down lap but maybe just as importantly you need to make sure that nobody's hurt yeah I, I looked out the out the window Kevin and they were three wide and there was not an inch between all three cars there's Brian Doza Brian Doza is the one that Got out of shape over in turns one and two on the white flag lap. So right now it's Sheldon Creed, Blaine Perkins, Zane Smith, Michael Self, Sean Core. That's the top five. Josh Williams is sixth. Now that's an unofficial order, so we'll set that in a moment. But here is what happened to Doza going around first with Joe Graff Jr. behind him. Yeah, they were just tight racing there. I, I told there was nobody giving any room there. Just a slight contact to the back of Doza and around he went. There's another view of it right there. You see, you see the gap between the six of Josh Williams and the 57. He probably got out of the throttle. We, he saw Leilani Munter down on the bottom of the racetrack. Joe got into him just a little bit. Now here's the heavier hit that brought out the caution. Look at that three. There's wide. that three wide racing with no room at all. So Robot took pretty big damage there too. Lamastis is in the 40, 54 Crosley for David Gilliland racing and then the Bama Buggies number eight for Chase Purdy. Let's see who else might have been impacted. Gus Dean right in the middle, maybe took a little bit of contact. It's like Josh Williams got by. He was on the very bottom of the racetrack.
So unfortunately, as is usually the case at a plate track, a lot of destroyed race cars. Behind him in the green and white car, number 15 in row two, and Zane Smith has been quick all day. If that 98 car runs out of gas, it could cause some big problems. So the bottom line might be the place to go, and they get the early jump back to Green. One to go, it's Talladega and Arca, and Creed has the early advantage. See, the 98 didn't go out of gas. Self trying to get around on the top side. He needs some help. Josh Williams there with him. He's in trouble. Zane Smith has momentum. He'll try to duck upside. Core will come with him. Remember, Jeff Stanker was saying that 41 car, their teammate is really fast. Looking three wide down the back stretch. Smith, and then Herbst goes around. Big contact, taking Josh Williams with him. Caution. Overtime number two is coming. Look at the damage on Sean Core's car. That's two races in a row. They get to the last lap with that 46 car and ended up wadded up. Zane Smith is the leader. And at the moment, the number 77, Joe Graff Jr., the 19-year-old from New Jersey, is second. Creed is third. What a start for Zane Smith. And Michael Self is still there in the mix. So that helped his cause because, as you said, top line with a car running out of fuel, the top line didn't have any hope. He got down best he can. And to get one more chance at it for row number two. Herbst had heavy contact. Let's watch again. See Herbst moves to the inside of Sheldon Creed. Here comes Joe Graff. Looks like there was contact between the 28 of Creed and the 18 of Herbst, and it turned Herbst right into the path of Sean Core in the 46. So Creed didn't get going very well. There goes Riley Herbst down the inside. Creed pulls over to try to block. Looks like Creed caught Riley Herbst in the right rear corner and it turned him dead right. So Creed looked like he didn't have anyone directly pushing him as Herbst tried to go to the bottom side and Core was on his high side. And yeah, just caught his right rear. So the frustration continues for Riley Herbst. Heavy damage. Sean Core able to make it to the ambulance on his, under his own power. The second row is Creed on the bottom, Self on the top side. Then Williams and Lynn in row three. Don't forget about nine-time Super Speedway winner Bobby Gerhardt back there in the five car. Watch Michael Self stay, lay back a little bit, worried that the 77 is going to run out of gas. But he doesn't. He goes. He's on the, he's on the button. Overtime again, green again at Talladega, and one to go. As they have been all race, they remain side by side, lined up two by two, banging up front. Top four all glued together. Smith and Graf in the front row. Teammates lined up on the inside. Zane Smith and Creed. That's Creed in the white car. On the bottom in row two. Self, the Daytona winner in the green and white Sinclair car up top. Ooh, they're banging together. The front two check out just a bit. And Smith and Graf are still glued together. Does Graf have enough fuel to get there? He needs a big push. Creed looking to find space on the bottom below the yellow line. Gets back up in line. Graf still hanging on. Williams comes to the bottom. Top two to the line. Even. Photo finish. Smith has won by inches at Talladega. One of the closest finishes you'll ever see in motorsport. Zane Smith by two hundredths of a second has won in Arca at Talladega. I think they were rubbing from the time they left turn four all the way to the start finish line. Point zero two. Nine is what it shows on timing and scoring. Waiting for official confirmation, and we have it. 
Zane Smith has won for the second time this season in the ARCA Racing Series. Smith wins the General Tire 200 in thrilling fashion. Look at this, Phil. Joe Graff Jr. on the outside. What a great job both these young men did. Look at that margin of just, it's almost too close to call. I had no idea. Wow.